Here we have a multivariable function and the first question is asking for its gradient. Remember the gradient is defined as you write down all the partial derivatives, right? So uh, if you differentiate xy plus z squared by x, if you do a partial with respect to x, well, you're treating y and z as a constant. So uh, think about differentiating, say, 4x. Differentiating 4x will give you just 4, right? So think of y like 4. So xy is same as yx. And since y is a constant, when you differentiate x, it becomes 1, and you just get y. And uh, z squared. Uh, because z is a constant, z squared will be also treated as a constant when you do a partial derivative with respect to x. So that's going to give you 0. Okay, so uh, first derivative, derivative by x would be just y. In the same manner, if you differentiate by y, then this time x is considered as constant and y differentiates to 1 so the first thing differentiates to x times 1 and then z squared gives you 0 when you differentiate so you just get x for the second derivative and fz this time if you differentiate by z both x and y are considered as constant so if you differentiate x y it's just going to give you 0 and z squared differentiates to 2z, right? So you get 2z. That's your gradient. And what is gradient evaluated at 2, 3, negative 1? Well, you think of the first value as x, second as y, third as z. So since y is 3, we put 3 here. Since x is 2, we put 2. And z is negative 1, negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. So this is what we get for the gradient. Let's now tackle part b. What's the equation of the tangent plane of the level surface at 2, 3, negative 1? Well, uh, first thing that you have to know that gradient is perpendicular to level curves or level surfaces or level curves so that means since uh, this vector 3 2 negative 2 is our gradient this would be perpendicular to the level surface f x y z equals to 7 because uh, 3, 2, uh, first of all, 2, 3, negative 1 is indeed on this level curve. You can check that by plugging in 2, 3, and negative 1. It's equal to 7. And because the gradient at this point is 3, 2, negative 2, this gradient will be perpendicular to this at this point. And that's perfect because since this is perpendicular to the surface, it will also be perpendicular to the tangent plane. Of this thing at 2, 3, negative 1. And if you recall, the equation of the plane is simply ax minus x1 plus by minus y1 plus c z minus z1 equal to 0 where a b c is the normal vector and x1 y1 z1 is a point on plane point on the plane and uh, we're already given the point this has to be on the plane and we already have a normal vector because this vector is perpendicular to tangent plane. And, and therefore, we can just make use of this right away and write the answer 3x minus 2. So I'm using 3, 2, negative 2, and 2, 3, negative 1. So 3, 3, and 2. 
and then 2 and 3, which is plus 2, y minus 3, and then negative 2, negative 1. So it's negative 2, z minus negative 1, equal to 0. So that's 3x minus 6, 2y minus 6, z plus 1, so minus 2z minus 2 equal to 0. And therefore, you have 3x plus 2y minus 2z. If I move 6, 6, and 2 to the other side, that's 6 plus 6 plus 2, which is 14. And that's the answer.